Yo, welcome back to another podcast, Elevated Podcast. We'll be back with another one. Um, yo, a lot of shit just happening, feel me? But now, my, before we start, man, I know y'all niggas see me around this other girl before. I didn't mean to do that, bro. Y'all niggas hit me up and shit. I didn't mean to do that, bro. You know what I'm saying? I didn't mean to do that shit. It was just a moment of time, bro. I, like I said, bro, I'm, I have flows and shit. I'm going to show to y'all niggas. I'm not going like, to hide it and shit. I feel y'all niggas, man. I know some one of my men. Yeah, one of my... <laughs> Now I'm not apologizing. Fuck that shit. I'm not apologizing. I'm just saying that I'm um, I'm sorry for the way I fucking conducted myself. Mm-hmm. Actually, psych. Fuck you talking about. I'm not just apologizing, bro. I'm apologizing for my man though. My man hit me up and told me this shit. I respect it, man. See, you should let your man correct you anytime you, you fuck up and shit. You heard? Yeah. Uh, you feel me? I didn't wish to do that, but I don't you, regret you it. You how much tickets we watching? Oh mm-hmm. shit, bro. I, nah. was, I was surprised one day when somebody was saying nah, that's that's no, no, that's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. What? That's a fact. I kind of think I don't want to like make it seem like that's how I really. I did that all to be funny, bro. I'm not, I don't really get that mad. But it was just funny, the topic of it's just what we spoke about, so that just it just came to my head. I ain't think twice. Mm-hmm. See, I don't think twice while I'm talking here, bro. This is all authentic for me. Like this is this this is a conversation I have to just think of privately and shit. I wouldn't like <laughs> but it's it so happened to be on camera and shit, yeah, man. Facts, facts. I ain't mean to do none, that. none of the conversation is really planned like that. Yeah, it's not planned. I didn't plan to roll and rent like that, bro. That's why the room was mad uncomfortable. I didn't mean to do that, bro. But it's just it was just in my head, so I decided to say it, man. But I apologize not to her, bro. I apologize to y'all, you feel me? What are you talking about? Appreciate, appreciate y'all <laughs> showing love on the last pod, though. Yeah, facts, facts. And remember, we gotta get to a thousand subscribers in the next yeah, four definitely, months. Yeah, definitely, definitely, bro. So run that up. Definitely. Um, what we about to talk about? We got like mad shit to talk about, actually, man. Facts. A lot of stuff happened this past weekend. You feel me? Shit, nigga, this nigga, this nigga, Chris, Chris Rock finally got back. You feel me? <laughs> he finally got back. You feel me? I was waiting on him. I thought he was never going to say yeah, anything about facts, it, man. Facts, facts. But how do you think about the situation of him not retaliating? Feel me, you going back in time. How do you feel about him not retaliating that moment that happened? Feel me? I feel like it's because he was on tour, though. He was on, on that time, he was on tour. He was on tour. His tour mm-hmm. just ended. So. Yeah. He was on tour for a whole year, so I guess he didn't want to give that energy. Mm-hmm. I think, they, what I, from what I've heard, they said that he was like, sneak this and doing his tour about it, but not really going into detail. This special was really going into detail about it. Mm-hmm. I feel like he, it really, I feel like, um, because remember, they said after that slap, his next showing sold out. Yeah. So I think he really was just riding on the wave of like getting the cash and shit. And like while it, his tour ended, he had this one last big hit. But I'm not gonna lie, it looked like a wave. I'm not gonna lie, it looked crazy though. It looked wave, man. I, I mean, he could, he explained in special how like he said like the reason why he didn't hit back because he said he was raised by parents. I mean. I don't know what that means. Bro. Oh, you mean like hit him back physically or yeah, like he talk shit? Back. He hit him back. Like he talking about that's when he when he was, when he was doing a special. He's playing the reason why he didn't hit him back. He didn't do nothing in the moment because he was raised by parents. And he said that his parents always told him don't fight in front of white people. Bro. Nah, he should have. Nah, I would have hit him back if yeah, I was Chris man, Rock. Yeah, man. I don't know what you mean. Chris Rock, you from that side? Not in the moment, bro. I would have hit him back, bro. Cause, cause remember he was hosting. What was that? The Grammy? Oh, you say you wouldn't have hit him back? I would have hit him back because yeah. he was hosting the yeah. Oscars, right? But I don't know about that, bro. I, Yo, bro, they wouldn't have let him done it again. Nah, bro. that's about it. That's about it. I guess he was thinking long term. I guess he's bro, he was professional. I, but I'm not gonna lie. Best believe though. That's hard. Though. After that shit though, I was definitely gonna get back though. That's bro. hard. Though. Moment. That's very hard to do that type of shit, man. That's like some Martin Luther King shit, man. You turn the other cheek. You feel me? You're not doing. Man, it. the niggas are comedian, bro. Only comedians can do shit like that, bro. Nah, I don't, don't think every comedian would react that way. I don't think Dave Chappelle would let that rock. I mean, I don't think what's his name would let that rock. Uh, Cat Williams, all because. Them. They would never be in the not, like no offense they small they funnier than him but they would never be in that position to do the Oscars just because of how their personality. Nah, no, you're right, you're right, you're right. Because they would that ass like would fight that nigga like. Yes, I'm they, saying. Chris Rock is more pacified, bro. He's more pacified. He's more like, you know, more accommodating to the white. But that's people. because of the show, bro. It's it's because like of that. his show, bro. The show fucked him up. Everybody hates Chris and shit, man. They getting beat up the whole show. <laughs> I messed up his name. Niggas saying he can fuck with him and shit, man. Yeah, it's, just, right. it's messed up. But yeah, bro, like, so he retired, he did a Netflix special, man, it came out, for me. I seen the clip of that, I didn't watch the whole Netflix special, but it was a clip of it where he was ranting on it. It was like a three minute. Yeah, 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 I don't need it, bro. (laughs) It was like a three minute clip of him talking about the situation and everything. Mm -hmm. And he was talking crazy, bro. He was coming out, he called called Will Smith a bitch. He called Jada a bitch. He called her a pedophile. He called her a pedophile, too. Basically, basically. Yeah, he was kind of... 
But le- doing that shit is gonna rekindle it, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Who cares, man? That shit gonna definitely like. Come on, what bro. What are gonna do, man? What are you gonna do? You gonna make a rap about it? What are you about to do? Man? I don't know. You don't. Know, nigga might run up on him. Or I don't know. My boy. I don't know. Jaden. Nah, why? Is, why? Get Chris. Nah, get nigga. Jaden. Jaden be crying at the sight of Jayden. nature, bro. You seen that weird nigga crying? <laughs> yeah, I was <laughs> mad confused. Bro, he's a weirdo. Bro. I was mad. Nah, like, he, he's just a weirdo. I thought it was like his like yeah. his somebody house. Or, I don't know. I don't know bro, what the fuck I thought it was. I don't, I don't know. One of the niggas gotta leave alone, bro. You can't really associate with him. I thought somebody died. I was like, what the fuck? No, he's just crying at the sight of nature. He's high on shrooms. I don't know. He on shrooms, bro. That's some shroom psychedelic shit, man. I mean, it's a weird family. I don't think. They're gonna do nothing to Chris. I mean, Chris, you only got him. one normal child and yeah. the one that's not famous. That's not even, he's not, I don't know if he's normal, bro. We maybe, don't know that nigga, bro. Maybe it's just Jada Jeans and Jay. Nah, it's just they got a lot of money. When you got a lot of money, you don't really know what to do that much. You have so much free time, you have so much accessibility, you have so much time to do shit, passive. You nah, they, do shit, I think bro. they just got the point they got so much money, they don't care of looking a certain they way. They don't care about looking a certain way. They think they, they it justifies care. them because they hold they they're they're holds a higher regard. So they like when Jada Smith was younger, he would look a certain way, you know, he had the cornrows in. He was just in like a yeah. you know, trying to look more like a black kid, but now he don't <laughs> give a fuck because he's not in the fame anymore. Like that nigga probably was weird when he was a kid too, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. He probably was a weird kid as well. I don't know what, how he was, but the niggas was raised differently, bro. The niggas hit Quill, Will was not probably home all the time in Jada too, bro. The niggas not home, they was raised by maids and shit. Yeah. Raised by nannies and hey, shit. Yeah, them niggas was raised by fucking social media. Other yeah. kids, basically. Yeah. Just being around other yeah, rich kids. Raised by other shit. rich kids, man. I feel I feel for them though, you heard? Because I understand niggas it, 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 that's really taken for granted having a normal life, bro. I mean these niggas That's not a normal life, so they're not know. normal, man. They they have mansions and shit, man. They got butlers. For me, that's why they probably that's why they act weird, bro. Nah, but if, nah, but I'm not gonna lie though. If I feel like I'm lying though, if I was in Chris or position, I'd probably have to beat that. That's what I'm like, saying, bro. I don't know if I had enough self control. For me, that's why I kind, I kind of respect him in the sense that he wasn't he, didn't, he wasn't so quick to punch a nigga backwards. Yeah, I, I say he just. Him. I would just say you know he know just man? got more. He just. I guess he just in that instance he's more of a man. Yeah, he looked. Like, he looked. He really nah, sw- sw- swallowed his pride because he thought like, yo, nah, in the future yeah. these white people is never gonna let me work. That's a fact. He thought long term. He didn't really think emotionally, bro. He didn't really, like like how Will did. Because think about it, like. Like, in the position of Chris Rock, he's a bad actor, like, he's a failed actor. Uh, what are you talking about? Because, you know, he's trying to change, he's trying to change the, the type of movies he's in now. But he's he trying not, to be in more serious movies. Bro, he's not failed. And right? I bet you know, I bet you haven't even watched his last two movies since his nah, ass, bro. I'm not watching that shit, but... He nah. knows that, like, if, for instance, Will could slap that nigga, Will gonna still be good off. He gonna like, still get booked somehow, but Chris Rock, he really only got the hosting and shit. Like, nah, alright, bro, come on, bro. He gotta eat a comedian, bro. Bro, when he's a comedian, he's so a comedian. He like Dave Chappelle and niggas, bro. Last time, he, his, his shows ain't sold out till he got slapped by Will. Nah, bro. come on, come on. Yes, it did, bro. He, the show that he sold he's a top comedian. The ticket sold out because he got slapped by Will. Yeah, bro, bro that helped him. But he was always a top comedian, though. That was not that's top weird. Why you think they let him top host? Weird, why you think they let him host? Top five, bro. He's top five, bro. Yeah, he's top five. He's top, top five, bro. He's top of a live comedians right, right now. He's top five, bro. <laughs> All these comedians suck, though. Let's talk. About I don't him. think he is top five, bro. He's top five. He, he's one of the niggas. Nah, the new top comedians, comedians are white. Most of the new comedians are Instagram people that do clips and shit. Yeah, and I can't fuck with that. I can't fuck. I would say the only like the only ones is Carter and Miller. My opinion. Carl Carl was, that nigga's a comedian though. He no, was, out of the new ones, like he's a stand up. He was a stand up nigga though. He did stand up like real shit. The like, niggas didn't start off doing stand up. They started doing like the other niggas start doing skits. Yeah, when you start off doing stand up, you funnier. I'm yeah, like, it, it takes more. It's, it's harder to do that, bro. Like stand up, it, it takes. It's like different, bro. Because you actually gotta tell. It's also like storytelling as well. It's not more of like. That's why niggas, some niggas can't transition to that, bro. They can't transition. That's why some niggas not good on shows, how they good on Instagram, bro. It's a different, everything is different. Like, some niggas can't do good on camera. Some niggas can't yeah, do good on stage. shows is bad, bro. Oh, you, you ever seen one? I see it. Nah, I watched it. Bro. That shit was bad. Yes, yeah, see, bro, some of this shit don't translate. Some niggas are funny in a way, like, they, they, they're funny how they, like, communicate. I don't know how to, I don't know how to explain it. They're yeah. funny how they communicate, like, different scenarios. That's a comedian. But like when they tell me like do comedy stand up. Seinfeld might be um what's that nigga name? The nigga on Seinfeld it might be better than Chris Rock. I'm not even gonna Oh, nah, nah, that's a fact. Nah, I mean bro, you wanna talk about like stand up? Yeah, probably, yeah. That nigga funny, bro. Nah, that's a fact. Nah, he's not funny. That's a fact. Jerry Seinfeld, yeah, that's a fact. But he's not top five, bro. Who's top five? Stand up? Um like damn, Chris Rock is not there, bro. I mean I'm gonna go with some old niggas. I mean I used to watch these and I like um some white nigga named Roddy Dangerfield, he's funny. I like some I like uh Damon Wayans, he's funny. Um, Martin Lawrence was funny. Bernie Mac was funny. Damian Wayne is 
the the ball. No. The ball is nigga. Ball going. Yeah, no. he, that's the nigga from Wife and Kids. That's Damon Wayne. You sure it's not, Damon the, that's not the other nigga? No, no, no. That's Damon Wayne. You talking about the other nigga's Keenan, the Keenan Ivy Wayne? Yeah, he's Damon. In the, in the Wayne two, show. Two, two of them in is the Wayne show. Oh, no, that's that's Sean and Marlon. Oh, okay, okay. Damon, okay. Damon, Damon, Damon is the, the ball one mm-hmm. with the Wife and Kids. Mm-hmm. Keenan's the, 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 the other one that be in the cut. He don't really. But he was on other movies and shit. But yeah, those are my. I don't really have a top five. It's mad niggas. I fuck with the older niggas. I've I'm, never said niggas say like, Chris Rock. I heard niggas say Chris Rock. Nah, niggas be saying Chris, Chris Rock. Rock nah, nah, nah. Stand up? Nah, nah, bro. Nah. Nah, Chris Rock is funny, bro. He's funny, bro. He had good stand up, bro. That's the, probably. Because a lot of these stand up niggas do now, they too scared to say shit, too, bro. A lot of these niggas are, te- are walking on the edge. They don't want to say nothing. Really. I don't think so. I be seeing some niggas on TikTok doing stand up. They be saying some what wild be shit, saying, bro. bro. What do you be saying? They be some talking, crazy they be shit that. About racism. No, 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 like, shit, no like some crazy shit that would probably like wild, wild some people up. Yeah, those are funny niggas. Like, but them shit niggas like not going to get that much Femi as push as these niggas that be speaking on social commentary. They want to make everything about racism. Like these female comedians. I'm not trying to know y'all female comedians, but it's, it's none of y'all that's ever funny. Monique is the only good female female. Yeah, Monique, I guess. Oh, uh, she uh, is she good on shows though. She not. I don't really. Tiffany Haddish is not good, bro. I, nah, she's not good, bro. Nah, it's no one good female comedian. I'm, I'm gonna keep it about. I might even try to. It's not even no. Nah, I put Monique, bro. It's bro. not even and no hating shit. And that ugly one, that ugly one. Who? Oh. Let me not say ugly, bro. Not ugly, man. Who that? <laughs> bro, I don't think Ooh. even know her name, bro. She Ooh. looked like she ugly. Yeah, I don't know her, bro. I don't know her she, name. She's a black girl? She's black. She's black and she, like, look like a nigga, bro. Oh, um, Wanda Sykes? Yes! Oh, yeah. And, I mean, I never really... I don't know what this name is. She dark skin, too. Nah, she's not dark skin. Let me see. Nah. Wanda Sykes? Or nah, so, so, Wanda Sykes is brown skin. Some nah. more? You talking about some more? Yeah, the one with big titties? Nah, I don't know who that oh, is. Yeah. Nah, I mean, yeah, yeah, but, like, I'm trying to think of some people else. Oh. Um, Oh, I thought I know what you're talking about. Um, uh, I don't know. She's dark skin. She's like mad fat. Nah, I'm about to show you oh. this one. Oh, um, oh uh, Leslie Leslie Jones was her name. Some shit. I don't show her name. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Le- Leslie Jones. I mean, she's not that funny. Bro. These, it, bro, I'm not gonna lie. It's it's different humor. I guess the girls find them funny. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. No, people yeah, don't, don't really watch this kind of like. People don't even watch that. Cause it's like trash, that, bro. bro. These niggas is whack, bro. These niggas don't have the natural talent, bro. I respect niggas that actually have the natural talent. And keep it a buck, though. Niggas don't even want to be comedians anymore. Though. Like that's corny, bro. Cause I never. Nah, real, nah, for real shit, though. They don't make that much money. Cause I went to one of these stand up shows before. I'm like, yo, bro, y'all niggas is not funny. What's wrong, with y'all niggas, bro? Is, is it my humor different, bro? Is that why I don't find it funny? These niggas saying simple shit, bro. Like my teacher, you know my high school teacher, she does. She's a comedian part time. I found that when I graduated. <laughs> I'm not she nice? Nah, she is. She is. <laughs> Nah, she alright, she alright, she alright, she alright. Come on, don't say she alright, bro. You don't know, bro. She alright, bro. She alright, bro. She say some. She say funny shit, but like what? I haven't watched the full stand up. I only watched. Is she that funny, bro? Is she that funny? Nah, she alright, bro. She is right. she funny? Then, then who, is she funny? Nah, than, nah, like nah, nah. any comedian you know, like nah, your top nah. comedian. Nah, nah. Yeah, then you're not funny, then, bro. I mean, you could be funny, but not top. How are you not bro? funny? Like, what is funny to you, bro? What do you find funny, bro? If you funny, if like I'm laughing and like my stomach start hurting, bro. <laughs> and I've never laughed like that since I. I watched like Cat Williams or some shit. Yeah, Bernie Mac, bro. Cat Williams, Bernie Mac, some shit. Them niggas some Kevin Hart, fucking Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart, Yeah, I think it was funny. That's their at time. He's not that funny anymore. But you know what I'm saying? I don't know what watered it down, bro. I think that shit's watered down, though, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Nobody wanna be a comedian, bro. Why nobody wanna be a comedian, bro? Like, because the market share is like the people that's getting all the money. It's niggas. It's like top one percent. This nigga from Instagram. The man. top one percent of the people getting money is yeah. like most of them. They get ninety nine percent of the money, bro. I yeah, I don't think it's a market for like stand up. Yeah, bro. stand up. They don't get paid that much. They get like a hundred. I think it's more, I think it's more of like they they looking for niggas on online talent, bro. Yeah. You got a YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah. Cause and they, these they niggas want to be monetizing stand-up. and shit like that. Yeah, bro. Y'all niggas gotta realize, bro. Like it's a difference, bro. You can't just make skits and think you're gonna like translate to stand up. This is a whole different ball game. Yeah. There's a lot of Instagram. I don't like Desi. Nah, Desi kind of funny. Nah, he funny. Skit and Bone skit, is funny. Skit wise, nah, I don't find that funny. Uh, Yo, what? Ha Ha Davis? I never be, found it funny. He be dancing. I nah, never some, found some, some of this shit is funny, but when he drags it, that's you no know one niggas try to say the term. The funniest skit nigga on Instagram, but he fumbled his old bag. You see? No, it's on um, Renny. Call me Renny. That's the funny. That's guy. a light skin nigga? Nah, the nigga, the dark skin nigga. He went to Brooklyn College, too. Nah, I don't know. The dark, the dark skin nigga, call me Renny. Like, he used to do, like, um. He, be, he used to be like, uh, what's the shit he be saying? Like, he be saying, like, uh, um, um. My dad, my. 
No, you know what I'm talking about, bro. Nah. The nigga who, in the blue room. Nah, bro. Come on, you bugging. You I have no clue what you're talking Call him Renny. Call him Renny. Call him Renny? You know him, bro. You know him, Renny. He, he, he went here? Yeah, nah, he, yeah, he went here. He went here. Some professor told me that. Nah, nah. Oh, this nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Renny, Renny, Renny. Yeah, Renny. Renny. I said, yeah, Renny, Renny. Nah, he's kind of funny. Nah, he's, he's mad funny. Bro. He's he, kind of funny. He's the funniest nigga because he don't have to do too much, bro. That nigga is just naturally funny. But with him, though, it don't translate to, to like, he was on Wild Now. He wasn't that funny, though, you right? mm-hmm. Some shit don't translate. Some niggas is meant to just do the like, skit shit. And that's not a problem, bro. Like, some niggas got different pockets they can do. But you feel me? But like some niggas not able to translate that to stand up. You right? do that shit, you limited though. You, I mean, you can only, you can, the most you can do is act. Cause some niggas have can do it all though. Some niggas yeah. can do it all. Like it's not a lot of niggas that can do it all anymore. Like Martin Lawrence can do it all. To me, yeah, stand up shows, um, and um, acting. Like Kevin, Kevin Hart. Yeah, Kevin Hart can do it all. You feel me? He can do stand up. All of the Wayne's brothers. It's, yeah, Wayne's brothers too. Bro. Wayne's, except for Marlon, he's not really that good at stand up. I'm not gonna lie. Or Sean, they good at they good at acting, like uh-huh. doing comedy and shit. But like, but like, yeah, his brothers, the older brothers, are good at stand up though. But like, not a lot of people can like do that shit. Not like George Lopez can do that. I mean, George, George Lopez is fucking funny, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. He's funny. I'm bro. not gonna lie. I was about to marry some bitch. She told me that she liked George Lopez. So I was like, bro, yeah. like I'm thinking marriage. I mean, I want to marry you. I, mean, I, I never heard that before. I thought it was. There's a lot of good white. Um, I thought, I thought it was a weird nigga. King and Queens is the king. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. but he not stand up. He don't do stand up. Oh, he, he don't do stand up. I thought he did, but he just do acting. Like probably he think he's not that good at stand up. Yeah. I mean, but he yeah. stand in lane. That's what. Yeah, niggas got stand in lane. You gotta know, like, like Adam Sandler. He he did stand. Nah, he didn't do. He's more of an actor now. He's just. He didn't, he didn't really do. It. I think he, Jonah Hill was just an actor. I think now. he did stand. Yes, Jonah Hill now stand up. He do. He's an actor. 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 He be doing drama shit too. But like. Yeah, some niggas can't really like transition, you heard? Like that's why niggas got stay at this shit, man. Like Dave Chappelle, niggas came at me, some niggas, niggas came at me one day because I said the Dave Chappelle show was whack. Niggas come at me, I said I don't nah, find that nigga funny. Bro. I'm not gonna lie. You didn't watch the Chappelle show though. I watched no, the, you didn't. I no, watched you didn't, all the important episodes, bro. bro. Niggas said important episodes, not a drama series, it's not breaking bad, nigga. <laughs> Jay is the Chappelle show, nigga. Shit funny, bro. That shit not funny, bro. That nigga's not that funny, bro. Bro, shit, if you watch that shit right now, you would not laugh. I that, probably would, bro. Nah, you wouldn't. If I would laugh at Key and Peel, bro, I would laugh at Key that. Key and is way better than that, bro. Nah. No? Yeah, nah. I ain't watch the show, bro. I'm tired of niggas just saying that. It's gonna be a lot of young niggas saying that. I'm like, bro, you didn't watch the show. You just saying well, you that. You can literally tune into it right you now. Peer, like niggas is peer pressure, bro. But you to can like, tune, to like something. You can tune into no, it right now, bro. You don't think niggas be peer pressure to like shows, bro? I can watch it right now. It's not niggas altered. It's the same it was back then, bro. Niggas be peer pressure. It's like the shows, same it was back then, bro. Like niggas be peer pressure. Like when niggas watch highlights of basketball players, nigga, you only gonna find it. Bro, niggas be peer pressure to like shit, bro. Just because it's like it's it it preceded it, bro. Niggas like that shit. Just because nah, it, you, it came before time. He's not my favorite. Right now. He's not my favorite. Bro, that, nigga, bro. that show is not good, though. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That show nah, is it's, not it's good. okay, bro. You dragging it. It's bro. not good, bro. It's not good. Like, cause I feel like he just drags shit. Like the nigga who does the crackhead nigga. Like, relax, bro. Like you do it. You try as you are, bro. Like, relax, bro. Like, nah, that shit is like, always funny. Like, too, I don't bro. like that black. I don't like niggas trying to like, 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 like over exaggerate the stereotypes of black people. It's like these niggas on TikTok that do the New York shit. They over exaggerate the New York stereotypes, like Tim's. They say Tim's dead ass. Like, we don't say that all the time. Niggas don't even rock Tim's like that, bro. Relax, bro. Niggas don't rock Tim's like Yo, that. Yo, I don't remember unless that. It's Snow Day. Boy, unless it's like Snow Day, bro. Like, unless it's like, niggas don't rock Tim's like that. Oh, you don't like because he's over exaggerating his stereotypes? Yeah, like, you over exaggerating stereotypes. Like, that means that you're not that good. That means that you lack, like, subject. Like, you lack, like, content, bro. You're not really, you're not well versed. You can't talk about anything, you heard? Like, mm-hmm. like niggas don't over exaggerate. Like, this podcast, we don't over exaggerate his stereotypes, nigga. Like, I don't. Fucking, I just talk hard. I mean, I can see that. I can see that. You know what I'm saying? They over exaggerate. You don't gotta do that, bro. Like, cause the reason why I used to actually tune into him was the crackhead shit. That was the that shit that made me want to tune into him. I'm not gonna lie. It's it's like elementary shit, man. I don't really think that's like that. Like, but that's what niggas. I don't know. That's what niggas found funny back then, bro. It's just generational things. Nah, but like, bro, the shit back then was good though. I think niggas always gonna find crackheads funny though. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't find crackheads funny. I, I want to get away from them, bro. They ain't annoying, bro. I don't really find crackheads funny. I mean, feel me? But, like, I don't know. Well, I was thinking about this the other day. Don't, don't you think, like, today, bro, like, these niggas, these shows be trying so hard to talk about social commentary so hard. Like, they try, they be trying mad hard to, like, talk about social commentary. I don't commentary. like shows that try too hard, bro. I like, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I like shows that do it and it's funny. But, like, I don't like shows that try like, too I hard. I feel like shows today, they don't, like, they don't like like make shows based on like simple themes. Like you know the simple themes like love, like relationships, 
um, family, um, best friends. They don't make things about that anymore. Like that show me that you like. That like, shit is dried out though. That show me that you Every like. Every show does that, bro. But that show me, nah, bro. But yeah, but like that show me that you like writing skills. You supposed to like build up on those themes and make shows about that, not just like rely on social commentary. Bro, you gotta blame the writers then, bro. But yeah, blame not the, the actors. Not bro. Blame the, I don't blame the actors. I blame the writers. I always call out the writers of these shows. Yeah, bro, yeah. I feel like it's lazy. Like, just, like, relying on social commentary to make up your show. Uh-huh. Like, bro, you're doing a comedic show. That show's... Every episode is gonna be based on social commentary. Like, what show? For you know what I'm saying? Like, um... Um, fucking, um... What's that show on TBS? Oh, not TBS. That show on ABC. Blackish kinda did that. Blackish is not even... And I, 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 I find that as comedy, bro. It's not... That's what I'm saying. I don't think that's really comedy. And I, I, and I kinda fuck with Blackish, though. I kinda fucked when it first started. I like the, 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 the concept of the show. Like, they... They yeah, black family. I guess they trying to like, but they try to. They kept trying to do social commentary shit. You feel me? They kept trying like to do it every episode. Like, bro, I like. The reason why I don't it? think it's comedy is because it's it's more serious than funny. So I don't think that's comedy. Yeah, comedy. Nah, it's, it's a comedy. Show. It's a comedy show. Bro. I don't think it's, it's based. It's on, it have funny shit just like it, sometimes, but yeah, it's yeah. Not, it don't it don't have too much of it. Like I, I like I like shows though. like you feel me? I like shows like um. That that blended well, you feel me? Like like Modern Family, like they Modern just, Family, they tra- it's funny as fuck. I like that show, like, but like they they like they have certain shit like that that can be talked about. Like they got a gay couple, they got a uh, 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 a mixed family or some shit. I think so. I'm they got some old white nigga with yeah, a, with old the white Spanish um, and adopted white. adopted child and shit. They can they can like talk about shit the whole time, but they never do. They barely they really do that. They do simple episodes and shit. And sometimes say like, bro, like. It's lack of shows that do that, bro. All these niggas want to straight talk about gay shit. Yeah, but niggas want to talk about fucking niggas kissing. Yo, bro, I'm watching a Nickelodeon show. Why are these niggas kissing? I'm just watching the show. Yeah, niggas is yeah. like, they running out. It's about? just writing, bro. It's poor. Like, it's the movie bad, shows is bad. bad. Niggas bro. is running out of ideas. That's why they keep. Now, I'm not going to lie. I agree that shows, because shows is media, bro. And it's because, yeah. like, regardless what you think, like, movies, people were. But movies that are made in the U.S., when people see that out of the U.S., that's what they think the U.S. is. is that's what I'm saying. So sometimes, oh, I think it's good to do it subtly, but not totally that it's it not, be subtle, it's ruining the material not that is not funny. Like, yeah. like chill out, like, make it funny or some mm-hmm. shit, bro. Yeah, I bro, like, that. like, y'all agree with that, like, you feel me? Like, this shit, like, like, when, like, when that shit used to happen back in the day, when we used to watch shows that bad comedy and we get, like, a serious episode, that shit was appreciated more because, like, Nigga, we don't usually get that type of shit. Like, we used to watch the D Channel show. Um, that's a Raven. It was a show about racism. When Raven, they was trying to say Raven was black. That's why she didn't get the job. That shit was like, we were surprised by that shit. We was like, oh shit. And we appreciated more. These shows want to do this shit every time, bro. Stop. That's why I like IBM Elementary, bro. I'm not gonna lie. That's why I like nah, it. But that shit trash, though. I'm not gonna lie. Bro. I like it, bro. That shit whack, man. But if you, you just like it because they think they're copying the office. They're copying the office, gang. You gotta be, you, but like, bro. Nah, that's what they, I thought, too, bro. But they, but copy, funny, bro. they copy it too much, bro. That's, that's funny, bro. That shit not Funny at all. Nah, they're not, they're not, they're not, they're not funny at all. Nah, of course not, but yeah, yeah, they're not copying, they only copy the concept of like, the, top show right like now? the interview. Huh? That's your top show right now? Nah, it's proven to be the top show right no, now. No, your, your opinion, bro. That's your top show. Like, out of all the ones running? The comedy shows, yeah. Uh, that's running right now? Yeah, that's the top show. Yeah, that's the, all of them that's running right now. The new ones? Yes, the new ones is all whack, right, bro. Who, who the fuck is on the show, though? The girl? The fu- nah, hell no. Damn, She's bro. annoying. She's who's annoying. The, who's the funniest on the show? The yeah. funniest is Chris? the old lady, the old Jamaican lady, oh, Jamaican the lady. Italian lady, uh, and Chris is third. The gay nigga is like fourth. The gay nigga is fourth. Of course he's gay. No, he's gay, but, no, he's gay, but they don't make it like always about... They don't make about, it really known. Yeah, they don't make are, it like always about being gay and shit. Yeah, like. bro. Like, I don't really like... Some show like that, they don't need to be do- done. Like, and the bro, janitor, the janitor. The janitor, yeah. I mean, bro, like, I don't know, bro. These shows, I mean, he's copying the show. I'm not gonna lie. Copy. It's the style. They copy the style. Because I heard my bro, my bro... I mean, if you want to keep it above, they... The office is copying um fucking love and hip hop. If you want to make, what are you talking about? Nah, bro, love and hip hop was the first one to do that shit, bro. No, it's a reality. With the interview and shit, bro. Nigga, it's a reality. They copy reality TV. Nah, first of all, bro. Whoa, first of all, bro. That's mad disrespectful. Bro, they copy like, reality TV concept. Bro, they not bro. copy reality TV. That they was not the first. Love him, I was. Bro, the, the office first. is like a fake. Nah, think about it though. The office is like it's yeah, not reality bro, TV. Watch them up. But if like know, corporate bro. America was reality TV, it, it would be. All right, that. bro. It would it's be not, that. That's not. They're not that. copying. And that shit is my. That shit is one of my top shows, bro. 
Bro, it's not a reality. Bro, what do you? Bro, that's the first time I ever heard. This. What are you talking? I said this, I didn't say what? it's a reality TV show. You said, it, but you. I said they, they copy concepts from it, bro. I, nah, I'm saying it's basically if corporate America was a reality TV show, yeah, that's, the office would be yeah, in. Yeah, but that's the first to ever do that, though. Not well, not well. Yeah, it's the first to ever. And do yeah, it. they took reality TV concepts. You can't even nah, lie, bro. Nah, really. With the interviewing shit, bro. Come you didn't see that anywhere before. But, but that's already out of the TV, though. All right, bro. But it's like it's not like it's a com- com- comedic show, bro. It's like comedy. It's not like actually, Bernie Mac. No, Bernie Mac goes before or after. Bro, see, bro, you keep. Was bro. Bernie Mac before or after? When Bernie Mac came out, off off. It was before. That was before, bro. No, it was not. Office came out. It came out the same time, bro. That's not corporate. It's different because it was about a show, and they they was they was in the fucking job, and they was talking about it, and it was like weird comedy. It was like. Like weird comedy as well, bro. It wasn't like no clapping and shit in the show. Um, yeah, bro. It was different, bro. Like, nah, that's crazy, bro. Like, come on. Put some respect on office, bro. Nigga, that's one of my favorite shows, nah, bro. bro. I'm just calling it how I what see it, bro. One of your favorite shows. What's better? What's better than that, bro? We talking about, man. Except bro, Seinfeld is funny, bro. I'm not gonna yeah, lie. Yeah, Seinfeld funny. I fuck with. I fuck, I fuck with Seinfeld. Like, I've never. I had a. I'm not gonna lie. I've seen had a couple Office episodes that I really did a lot, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. Which ones? You mean you, they could be saying the first season, bro? These some bitch told me like, oh yeah, they fumbled a bag after Michael left, bro. I'm not gonna. Nah, I, I stopped. You're not supposed to watch The Office after season seven, bro. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? I watched that shit, bro. That, that shit was, was terrible. Bad, bro. That shit was terrible. I can't watch that shit. I never actually watched the eight and nine season. I would see it on TV if it's on some random channel. I see it, but like I wasn't watching it, bro. That shit bad. They, they should have stopped after season seven. For me, see, girl, for me. He was done. That's, that was the nigga of the show, man. Once he's gone, that shit the show is done. You feel me? But yeah, bro. But yeah, bro, like, just in general, bro, like, these shows, man. But, like, I feel like niggas like writing, bro. It's a lack of talent, like, writing-wise, bro. Like, mm-hmm. niggas is not making good shows anymore. These niggas is lazy, bro. The, like, co- the comedians need to start writing again, bro. They got to start, like, actually producing. Yeah. That's why, that's why, like, oh, movies, yeah, like, like sh- yeah, that's why shows like Seinfeld were so funny, because he produced it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and what's that other nigga named Larry David? The, 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 the water white nigga? Oh, cool. Larry David, that's the that's a, that's a director show. Oh, okay. Larry David, that's a nigga, I don't know if you know the show Kirby Enthusiasm. Nah, man. Yeah, but that's that shit. He rapped the song and shit, man. They need to start taking more control. That's why everybody hates Chris. It's funny. Yeah, that yeah. shit is funny. Cause but but he, he didn't write. He, didn't, well, he wasn't writing on show. Oh, he didn't write that. He didn't write it. He didn't oh, write it. That's crazy. I just I just seen that shit out of the other day, day, bro. He didn't write that show. Oh, wow. He was a narrator on the show. That's it was um, what's his name? That nigga who um. Nigga was involved with Bulldog, bro. A couple of episodes. But that's why Seinfeld's yeah, so rich because he um he wrote. Oh yeah, he married. He like he, he, he wrote that. Billion, he almost a billion. Yeah, he wrote Close that. Shit. That's crazy, bro. That's yeah, because it's like you let a niggas write it. That's like really not that funny, bro. Yo, bro, I think it's too, bro. You gotta stop letting niggas like, bro. You gotta deny scripts that be trying to like do this social commentary, bro. <laughs> nigga, if it's a comedy show, like nigga, I mean, how you gonna deny the nigga that's putting money in your like, pocket? Like, bro, we trying to escape, like, bro, like we watching a show, like when you watch a favorite show, right? You trying to escape from reality. You trying to like sit here and enjoy the show because you got shit going on your life. I'm not trying to hear about fucking niggas, like. Nah, but it's good though when you get to relate to shit and laugh about it, bro. But like, what type of relate? Like, feel me? Like, not in a way like we talking about present day shit. We talking about niggas getting killed, black people getting killed. No, I'm talking about shit like that shit every time. You like your parents story, or, like, do some shit to you that fucks you up, and then but, they make it like, to a joke. Yeah, yeah, but like, you know what I mean, bro. You never watch these old shows like like white wife and kids. It was simple. And shit, shit what you mean? Every fucking um. House of Pain uh, used to do a lot of fucking social know, commentary, know, bro. They do that every time. They used like, to do a lot of social commentary, nah, put, bro. Put, put, put some fucking House of Pain, bro. They used to do a, Nigga, that shit funny still, nah, though. Bro, say, they used to do a lot of social nah, commentary, they did, bro. They, 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 they did, but like, not every episode. They did, like, that's only... Nah, that shit don't gotta be every episode. That's, a, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's an exception, though. I'm not like, you right about that. They did do a lot of that Cause shit. Because it's Tyler Perry, nigga. You yeah, know how they're gonna talk about that shit? Yeah, there's very few of the shows that do that, bro. Like, But like, today, bro, a lot of these shows, like, even kids shows, bro. Like, Relax, yeah, like, this, like this, like this, like Bella, like like the Bella show, bro. Like no this, 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 you, you watch it? Nah, I didn't watch. That. I, I didn't finish the first episode. You can spoil it, bro. I don't really. You don't fuck. You don't fuck with. It. Nah, you never. Gonna it's on it. Peacock, bro. It's bad out of the way, bro. <laughs> like nobody use that shit, bro. I'm gonna keep nah, it nah. Yeah, yeah, they moved the office over there, bro. I mean, it's. I mean, look. I know the gist of it, like why he moved over there. It's not. That's not far off, though. Why he moved over there? He did get beat up. <laughs> and then he nah, got that nigga shot the shit in the head. Thought he was cool. I still was mad there, bro. I was see. I give the show. It was exaggerated. Yeah, I give the show prop, bro, because I was coming out of it being mad pessimistic. I was saying the show is trash. The concept is trash. The the the, the, the show. The concept of the show is daring, so I expected it to be daring, bro. Mm-hmm. But like, 
it, it overseeded my, my expectations, bro. Like, I watch it, I'll be like, yeah, it's kind of like, for me, it's kind of, some of the a lot of shit is there, bro. But I expected that, so I wasn't really that deterred from watching it, you heard? But like, Coco Jones, and that's what, for me, that's what me, you know, I watch that shit, you know I mean? But I'm not gonna lie, niggas is coming here because she's mad at Thor, relax, bro. She's cold, bro. She's, she mad at Thor, she like, she almost has a six foot, for fact. Oh. I'm not gonna lie. And they be coming at the nigga because the nigga on the show, like he be he be he be coming he be coming at, he be coming at niggas in the show they be coming at the the, the name of the show that be hooking up with saying like she manhandling her, her him and shit. What? Yeah, bro. Like her hands look mad big when you kiss her. Hey, come on, bro. <laughs> stop, stop all this shame with the, the girl that's baby, bro. I'm tired y'all niggas doing that. Bro. That's fucked up, that's bro. Mad shame, bro. Stop doing that, bro. I don't like that, bro. Y'all <laughs> niggas coming at her. She's a pretty girl, bro. Stop trying to say she like her hands is mad big. She like a Kim Olajuwon. Come on, bro. That's not cool, bro. That's not cool, bro. That's not cool, man. <laughs> It's not cool, bro. Yeah. Come on, y'all, bro. Stop shaming oh these women that's bigger than, than somebody. Bro, she look better than probably than me, girl. Yeah, she look better than girlfriend, bro. She look better than girlfriend, bro. Like, I understand, bro. I understand that she's a freak of nature, bro. But, like, she's still bad. I would definitely... I would, bro, come on, man. I will go crazy, bro. I'll take down all the cats, bro. Bitch, the bitches on Yeah, the all these bitches in bro. bro. I'm tired of these bitches in Brooklyn trying to come at it, bro. Look how these bitches in Brooklyn look. Stop talking shit about it, bro. <laughs> She's from Texas. That's why she look like that. It's different out there, bro. Yeah, they eat actual real food. They're eating like um, fucking armadillo and shit. Whatever they eat, bro. But like, yeah, that's why she look like that. That's why she look like a behemoth, bro. Don't get mad. You can't handle it. That's why you, That's why y'all saying that you can't handle that? I hope, I hope comedy gets better, though. I'm not going to lie. I oh, yeah, it, yeah. I hope it gets better, bro. Yeah, bro. Nah, I did I did stand on one, one time, but I bombed crazy, though. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm not going to lie. Niggas don't really... That's what I'm saying. Like, bro, I, niggas don't relate to, like, humor like that. We like, bro. Like, niggas not going to understand some of the shit I be saying. Uh -huh. Feel me? Like, I got to sometimes got to conform to these niggas. So these, because it was a white crowd. Don't see these niggas. Nah, sometimes I don't be understanding. Sometimes uh, some comedians say... Uh, but I understand that. Shit be going over my, some shit go over my head, like... I understand that, Jerry's, bro. that shit, sometimes that shit be going over Jerry's my I think because I, I can't relate to most of the shit you talking about. I, I, just, I understand that shit. I understand what they be saying, but like, Finn, when you come a day, you start talking in slang. You try to, they don't understand it. Like, some of the jokes they be saying, like, what? What are you talking about, man? Like, some of the, they don't understand the culture. Yeah, I bombed a little bit, man, but fuck it, man. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm gonna try to do that again, bro. I was nervous as fuck too, bro. I was mad nervous. I'm not even a nervous person like that, but I was mad nervous, bro. bro. Stand up, cause you gotta make everybody laugh, man. Nah, I was even, bro. I don't know what it was, bro. It was just like you used to making your friends and shit laugh. Yeah, but now you gotta make strangers laugh. Yeah, yeah. I thought cause shit. niggas be gassing my head, bro. They be saying, "Yo, bro, you mad for me, bro?" Like, <laughs> but so I went up there, like, but I, 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 I expected I was not gonna do good. I mean, I, I took a shot. I mean, I took a shot of Casa, bro. <laughs> I took a shot. Nah, bro. I was, I was somebody recorded that shit, bro. bro. I was mad nervous, bro. Nah, they, I think they, they didn't record it, though. I wish they did. But I, what I told them about, I told them about, I told, I told them, I told them about me fighting my grandmas when I stole this. What? Bro. Nah, bro. True story. It's a crazy story. But I told, I told a story about me fighting my grandma. I'll be my grandma, bro. Yo, how angry you gotta be to fight Nah, we didn't really bro. fight, but my grandma was fighting me. Cause uh, she caught me stealing meat from a pot one time, and she, I mean, she tried to like, she tried to, my grandma was like 80 something years old at that time. Dude, she was in my eyes. Crazy shit. Hit <laughs> me crazy shit. Hit me with some shit. Real shit, man. But yeah, I told that story about that, but niggas didn't relate to it, man. These oh, niggas man. didn't grow up like that. These niggas had, uh, no, what's good? What we get from Uber Eats? Like, they didn't grow up like us, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, for me, they never had family dinners. They don't eat, I don't, their mom don't cook the food. They eat pot roast and shit, man. I don't know, bro. So they didn't relate to that, bro. bro. I'm not gonna lie, that's not even, yo, a lot of fucking black people, too. I've been, I've dated a, okay, I'm a man of bitches, bro. A lot of these bitches don't be eating cooked meals. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> a lot of these bitches don't know how to cook. They eat DoorDash, bro. They eat DoorDash. They eat straight DoorDash. They eat, um. Who's the problem? Uh, 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 what do you be eating, bro? I don't know these bitches. But it's just like, they just get, it's because their parents just raise them like Lobster that. tails. I don't know if these bitches be eating weird shit. They be eating like, they be eating like fucking like, like amphibians, bro. They the eat, bitches like, that want you to go out, like, that want to go out to eat with you all day, don't be fucking getting home cooked meals at home. Yeah, bro. They never got home cooked meals at home. That's not cool, man. Man, I know, for a fact, that, that's a disadvantage, bro. I don't like that, man. You don't know how to cook. What are you, what are you gonna do when you with me, man? Like, come on, that's like, that's like. See, I don't like that negative, like stereo. That that's. that's if you don't know how to cook, you just can't. Follow you know what I'm saying? Thing, it's like I don't like that negative, like stigma of of a nigga like wanting a girl to cook, bro. Like, it's, why is that so a negative thing? That shit is like bonding, bro. That shit is like. 
Like, girls, girl, first of all, girls like that. Having I mean, no, wanting your girl to know how to cook is not a bad thing. I'm saying, I, if I, when, a girl, when a girl ever cook for you, bro, a girl ever cook you for you, bro, right? I mean, something like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> like, so, right, all right, she cook for you, bro. Right, right, she felt like mad proud and shit. Right, she yeah, felt mad proud yeah, when she did it. Yeah. Like, she felt like you, like, she felt mad love. Yeah, bro. Stop acting like niggas is trying to, like, try to demean y'all niggas, bro. Nah, I want to know how to cook. Because one, yeah. it's a life skill. You need to know how to fucking cook yeah, when you're on the show. How the fuck are you gonna feed my kids when I'm not there? If I'm the only one not how to cook, mm -hmm. you can't follow fucking instructions. Cooking is not that hard. <laughs> like what nah, the fuck? Nah, bro. But like yeah, bro. Like it's just like it's a matter of bro. Like it's a bonding type of thing. It's like, bro. You see these niggas and we watch baby, but when she cooked the food for him after they finished, feel me? Why y'all niggas talking about that's real life, bro? That's real life, bro. Why, why y'all don't like that shit, bro? She cooked them tacos. I mean, it's nothing crazy. <laughs> it's nothing crazy. It's a thought that counts, bro. Like, nah, it's, it's not it even, bro. It's not even. Am I actually gonna cook a gourmet I mean, meal? A lot of niggas just don't know, bro. You'd be surprised. A lot of girls don't know how to cook, bro. Nah, I met some, bro. I met some girls that so many they cook, bro. They so many meals. I'm like, that's yeah, good, bro. Like, it's a good thing, bro. Like. Stop, don't get mixed up by these social media I mean, things, right bro. now, if you don't know how to sure. cook, okay, as long as you're learning, but if you're like 25, you need to know how to cook, bro. That's a Yeah, but if you're my girl, if you're my girl, I call you my girl for real. Like, we ask you, ask my girl, I'm claiming you and shit. Like, I would like for you to do some shit like that, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like what you like to, like, I feel like I'm home, like, I'm getting pampered, you heard? Like, niggas like getting pampered too. Fuck you talking about. Niggas not always y'all, fact, That's a fact, bro. That's a fact. And bro. it don't take that much to pamper yo. you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it don't take that much, like, 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 massage my feet, bro. Like, you ever had, like, a bitch that actually, like, like, I actually know how to treat, like, treat, like, like a scratch man, my back. Like a nigga, though. Like a bitch. You ever met a bitch that not actually cheat a bro, they nigga, do, bro? They do it, they do it for, like, like, uh, like a bump, though. That shit will have you stuck more than pussy, bro. I keep it. That's a, bro, I don't even care about pussy, bro. If a bitch know how to take care yeah, of you, bro, bro that'll have you <laughs> more stuck. Just like how bitches, they want niggas that can, like, you feel me? Not a cater to them in every type of way. Nah, well, yeah. If you know how to do that for a nigga, bro, he's not gonna leave you. Man, yeah. You gotta be not gonna leave you, bro. That's right. Nah, I know I'm not. I know I'm not nah, gonna leave you, bro. Bro, like, like, bro. bro, life be hard, bro. Niggas be go to shit every day, bro. It it's just not... make you feel like nigga like, you scared. Care, you fucking bro. care, bro. Like, I'm getting pampered, like you scratch my back, like you feel me? Like you like you scratch like bro, do some shit, bro. Like scratch my back. Clip my toenails. This don't even do that, be that bro. good to be fucking. Yeah, bro. I don't even care about pussy, bro. That shit don't be that good for me. That shit lasts for like a minute, bro. Like if I'm fucking, bro, that shit lasts for two minutes, bro. What are we supposed to do after that, bro? Can I get some like? Can you like do something? Can you like wash my underwear? Do something, bro. Nah, like, bro. Word, bro. You can't wash your own underwear, bro. <laughs> nah, nah, <laughs> nah, no, bro. Bro, shit. This I wash my shit before, bro. Word. A bitch watch my shit. A bitch, bitch, bro. If a girl love you, she love you, bro. The, 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 all this social media shit is messing niggas up, bro. A bitch can do anything. A bitch, so, bro. Oh, yeah, Lonji got that pack that she has to watch your. Nah, she's alright. I'm not saying it. <laughs> <laughs> that shit ain't happening, bro. But like, she offers to do shit like that, bro. She clip your toenails. Feel me? She she clean your place, bro. Like, feel me? She feeds you. Like, bro, y'all niggas don't know about real love, man. That's what I'm saying. Y'all niggas gotta stay over there with that, man. That's what I'm telling y'all niggas, man. Real shit, bro. <laughs> And you know I'm speaking facts, bro. That's real shit. If a girl fuck with you, gonna do everything you wanna do. Vice versa, bro. Like I'll, like I'll, like I'll, like I'll, like I'll bite your toenails with my, with my mouth, bro. Oh, fuck out of here, bro. Like, I do that. I did that. Fuck out of here, bro. I love my, I love, bro. Real fuck shit, out of here, man. Bro. Like real shit, man. I ain't doing that shit, nigga. nigga. I'm, I ain't doing that it's shit, affection, bro. bro. That's real shit. Next fuck level. that, nigga. That's just affection, man. You got love for me, for me. You got. I don't love you. I don't love these bitches. Like, yeah. I ain't buying nobody toenails, bro. Fuck nah, real shit, bro. Guy like that. I'm looking at feet, bro. I'm not buying no. Hey, what are you talking about? That's I'm not biting toenails, bro. That's nasty, bro. That's, that's, that's just good, bro. That's nasty, that's just, bro. That's just playful shit, man. I do anything, bro. I don't give a fuck, bro. That's cool, like, that's love. That's that's love right there. For me, for me, I know I'm in the podcast, I be chatting and shit, but that's real love, man. Just, like, simple shit, man. For me, do simple shit. Like, shave my arms, some shit. Shave my, my, my yeah. underarms. And you, should, and you should have no problem slapping Chris, like a nigga like Chris Rock when you talk about your ability on stand up then. I don't think that I don't think she was he, Chris, Will Smith was getting that treatment, bro. I don't even think he was getting that treatment. Bro. I think he was just getting pussy, bro. Nah, like he was just getting pussy. Nah, like, that kid though, I was not nah for a bitch like Jada. I'm not doing that. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna laugh. I'm gonna laugh as. Laugh, but laugh with that in that though. situation though, that on some real shit, bro. If I'm with my bitch, bro. First of all, you gotta know your nigga. Probably Will Smith is not that type of joking nigga. 
If you with me, bro, like me, I'm saying for myself, you with me, I'm a joking ass nigga, bro. I like shit like that. I'm a joker, bro. I like laughing. If somebody be at a comedy special and something, the, the, com the comedians start coming at you, yeah, especially if you, you better suck front. it. You better suck it up, bro. Especially if you're in the front too, bro. And you gonna pay on me? I'm gonna call you pussy, bro. Where am I there? That's yeah, that's like going to a comedy club and you mad. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna get mad at the nigga talking about me. I'm not doing that, bro. If, I know, if I'm if i telling you we're that's in a mad comedy mad. club, bro, don't get mad that he's cutting your ass because I'm gonna laugh too. I don't defend my no girl. No funny shit. I don't defend my girl, bro. Unless he start like, like wilding. Like, if he start wilding, like, he got like five jokes on her, then he's wilding. No, if you get it, but bro. If, you, if you're a bitch like Jada, bro, I'm not gonna even no. think about getting enough to slap the nigga, bro. Like, is he touching? Is he harming you? Is he touching you? It's a comedy, nigga. Is he, is he, is he, is he punching you? Is he harming you? Is he. Bro, he's coming at you, your parents. He's coming at you. Look, he's coming at everybody, bro. It's jokes, bro. What's wrong? These niggas not taking jokes. I don't understand that, bro. Like, you can't take a joke, and you can't be my girl. You can't. If you can't, they should have sat in the front if they were shooting. Nah, bro. I don't give. I'm sitting in the front. I'm the type of nigga to sit in the front because I want niggas to come at you, bro. We start rushing. If you're in the front, bro, they coming for you first. They come out. They come out. I need to go to one though. I want to do that shit though, man. For me, that's what it's about, bro. Nigga, bro. That's what I'm saying. Where y'all niggas grew up at, bro? Y'all niggas didn't grow up cutting niggas' eyes, bro. Every bitch got it. Bitches don't know how to take jokes. Bro. Yeah, they don't. Some like of them don't. Jokes. Like some. Not some, some of them do. Some, some of them. Some of them do. Nah, they do. They do. I had some some girl I went to school with, bro. Like we was kind of ass and shit. We that's all we did the whole period. That's regular shit. I appreciate people like that. That showed me that you that you're able to have fun, like. Words don't hurt you, bro. Like I don't play about my bitch, but if we in a comedy club, <laughs> really? bro, relax, my nigga. Yeah, I don't play about. It's my never if it's like a random nigga on the street, then yeah, nigga. Yeah, because because it's not in that setting. Yeah, bro. we got master settings, bro. Like it's not in that setting, so that shit is not called for. But if it's in a setting where niggas is making jokes. Nigga, everything's all no hoes barred, you feel me? Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you look crazy, you look crazy, bro. You look crazy, bro. Yeah. Niggas gonna cut my ass, bro. Look how I'm up. Niggas gonna cut my ass, bro. Niggas is roasting the fuck out of me. Niggas gonna give me 50, bro. I'm going to suck it up, bro. I'm gonna start to roast back. Niggas probably not gonna hear me, but you know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna get 50, bro. That's that's a proper life, bro. Niggas is ugly, bro. Everybody ugly, bro. So I'm trying to act like niggas look perfect, bro. Niggas just need to suck it up, bro, and yeah. just deal with it, man. Yeah, bro. But right now we just gonna wrap it up, man. Yeah, just remember to like, comment. And subscribe yeah. and share the video with your friends, man. Subscribe. Get us to a thousand subscribers. Oh yeah, let's get a thousand, man. Um, and we got some shit coming up, man. We gotta keep coming up, man. Keep showing support. We gonna show support back, y'all. Good luck, man. We out, man. Peace.